Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your mid-month love, career and finance and health and wellness forecast horoscope for February. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. And thank you to all my members for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you look at personal read with me or you'd like to get a uh, pre-order my new deck, it's at jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below this video. So guys, remember these are general messages. You can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Also, um, we're gonna do the love, the career and finance, and the health and wellness. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. And also, if you like it this way, hit that like button, let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in here. So let's go on my Virgo's romantic love life. What's going on by Virgo's career and finance? Give me nine cards for the Rose Romantic Love Life. Give me six cards for their career and finance for the time period of now until the end of February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What is going on with my Virgo's Romantic Love Life? What's going on my Virgo's career and finance? Give me nine cards for my Virgo's romantic love life. Give me six cards for their career and finance for the time period of now until the end of February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. How does my Virgo, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does my Virgo's love interest feel about them romantically? Give me two cards for how my Virgo's love interest feels about them romantically. And give me one card of advice for the romantic love life. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we have one, two for the feelings and one for the advice. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, and six for the career in finance. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. We're gonna layer more cards on top of this, so stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. And we're gonna start with your romantic love life. Oh, we start with the, the High Priestess card energy, which she can re represent secrets, okay? She can represent you using your intuition. She can represent something yet to be known or gaining knowledge. Although this High Priestess card has the book completely open. So I would say that you already know. And you're a bit confused about things with the Moon card energy. Okay, let's pull one more here. You're having this stuck energy here or you're having the sense you're gonna have to make some kind of sacrifice here. So you have knowledge here of this sense of confusion and being stuck, okay? When it comes to an opportunity here, there's some kind of letter, message, document, Facebook message, text message when it comes to your happiness here. So you're have, you have knowledge of an opportunity, but you're confused about this, this message and you know there's going to be, have to be some kind of sacrifice that's going to have to be made when it comes to your happiness. Or there's something to do with this opportunity that's going to have to be revealed. Okay. Six is six in healing, recovery, and love. Two plus seven is eight and nine for stability and stableness. Okay. Let's keep going here. There's a planning going on with the four swords energy. Because you're going to make some kind of choice here. It looks like there's two people involved with this and they are working together to uh, create some things here. There is a little bit of head bunning though with this two of swords energy because it's like this back and forth energy and it's like, it's like a, a hole digging going on there. So there's some planning about this choice but there's a bit of a crossroads around this choice. We see that there is something to do with changing, improvements, or even change your residence there. And there's conversations about that. 
and there's news or messages about this. And also the Rider card can represent someone's desires. Change, improvements, conversations when it comes to your desires. For stability and stableness and making that choice. We see that you're, you have knowledge about an opportunity and you're thinking, contemplating, and planning this improvements and changes. There is a sense of confusion when it comes to this letter, this message, and making that choice and having that conversation. Because you're like, do I have to sacrifice my happiness here? I'm indecisive about whether or not this fulfills my wishes here. Or to give this news, writer card energy. Let's see how your love interest feels about you. They feel like there's a commitment engagement or marriage here. They feel like they want the desire to gain some kind of control around this. They want to take control of things like the chariot card energy. They want things, they, they're trying to assert themselves so they can take charge of their destiny around this when it comes to a commitment engagement or marriage. They're committed to this. So let's see what your advice is. You gotta be like the king energy, Virgo. So what it's saying is, it's about you looking at what happened in the past and taking a leadership role here and making wise choices and wise decisions based on that. You're not gonna be patient, you're gonna make abrupt decisions, but you're gonna use the king energy to say, I know what to do. Because you do know what to do, Virgo. You're a sign that's very, you, you dig deep. You research things, you know, right? You're analyzing things. You know what to do here. Let me just pull one more card for you guys. Yeah, there's something to do with something spiritual here. There's lessons to be learned around this situation. Spiritual lessons to be learned. Where there's a deeper spiritual connection here. And it talks about traditional values, right? Or spiritual lessons that need to be learned. And you need to, to take a leadership role around this. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. We got the king of energy again. There's wisdom here about long-term commitments. And you're having the sense of there's some challenges around that, some delays around that. So you're being patient for things to come into balance there with the temperance card energy when it comes to what you wish and hope here with the star card energy. You're trying to be hopeful about this. So if I look just going around here when it comes to the diamond here, there's conversations or there's communication happening. There's a message, news, or paperwork, or something to do with improvements and changes when it comes to wishes, hopes, and desires. There's this opportunity which there's some delays around. Why? We see that it looks like you're avoiding some things here that could ha cause you some harm, or you're, you're getting out of the way of harm here with the Six of Swords energy, especially in this particular card. You see the swords are coming at that person, but they're able to get away. Like, and Six of Swords energy is like, yes, there's challenges here, but you're going to get past those challenges. So you're getting past these challenges here because of the sense of stability and stableness of the Anchor card energy. So we know there's an opportunity and delays and challenges because of stability and stableness when it comes to your happiness. We know the central issue is this choice about this conversation here. So they're making some kind of choice to talk about this and speak about this, to communicate this. What, what are they communicating about this choice? about this indecision about, does this fulfill my wishes here? And so you're like, I need to be wise in my decision making when it comes to long-term commitments and be patient for things to come into balance because I know there's challenges here, but there can be healing, recovery, and love with the six card energy. And they're moving past these delays and challenges because there's a sense of a wish and hope around stability and stableness. Because you do have this opportunity here. This opportunity is gonna, you're gonna talk about this opportunity around stability and stableness, which is gonna help you move past these challenges here. You're gonna see a light at the end of the tunnel. Don't worry, okay? You're gonna get past this, these challenges here, because healing and recovery love is here. All right. If you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You guys can check out your weeklies too to get more information on the day to day, as well as the bi weeklies, which I'll be releasing another day or two. So stay tuned for that. All right, so let's go on, on with your career in finance. Well, it does look like a happy energy. You're, you're laying down that foundation there. And you got a lot of options. Another happy energy. Both these people in this card are very happy. It's like you're, you're like, you know, there's change happening. You do have a sense that, okay, my hands are tied around the situation. Let me clarify this. There's some socializing happening or people involved. And there's something new happening for you guys with the child card energy. 
There is the hands are tied because you're having regret about what happened in the past. You're looking at the loss. Don't look at the loss, Virgo. You can't you can't control what happened before. You can only move forward here, right? So it doesn't matter what happened in the past. It's just forgive yourself for that and move forward. So this the fact that this situation pertains to the past is, is, is coming up for you. You're like, all right, I need to be patient here and be wise in my decision making. And the situation around the past involved another person. This also could be your energy. Lenormand, it could be the person you're reading for, it could be a person involved, okay? So four of pentacles, you are holding on to things here. You, and for some of you, you're collecting some savings there. And you're getting recognition here with the moon card energy. Some things are coming to light for you. Yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles is saying, you know what, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, you're being patient here and you're gaining advice for some of you and you're figuring out what you want to do on a long-term basis. Because you know you have choices here and you have a couple different roads you could go down with that Crossroads card. So it looks good for you guys. There's, there's a sense of stability and stableness. There's a sense of community there with the Garden card energy or you're doing a lot of socializing when it comes to choices. It's giving you a lot of options and something new here. Yes, the, the reason why you feel like your hands are tied is because of, of, of regrets about what happened in the past. And wh when you felt like you weren't wise in your decision making or you were, you're trying to be patient because of that. But you're holding on to some things and you're getting that recognition that you need here. And you're being patient and trying to figure out what's going to be the best path for you moving forward. It looks very good, Virgo. All right, so let's now take a look at your health and wellness, Virgo. So can I have some advice for my Virgo health and wellness for now until the end of February? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So Virgos, no worries, okay? Everything will be restored and you will be healed. So whatever's going on with you, expect a miracle. It will be all right. Because there's divine intervention happening for whoever, whoever needed to hear that. Let me pull one more card. But they're saying you have to be careful of your diet. Diet is really important. So whatever you were dealing with, Virgo, it's, you're going to get better from it. It's going to be okay. And be more cognizant of your diet coming up, okay? All right, my beautiful Virgos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a personal read with me. It's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check the link below this video. Uh, thank you to my members. I'll see you guys in another date or two with your, either your bi-weeklies or what is your love interest secretly want to tell you. Not sure which one as of yet, but stay tuned for either one of those in another date or two. Love you guys so much and have a great rest of your month and I will see you soon.